Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this lesson, we will continue to solve questions on manometer. Follow me as I read the question and we compute what we are being given below. Fresh water and sea water flowing in a parallel horizontal pipelines are connected to each other by a double YouTube manometer as shown below. So this is the figure we are supposed to work on. What are we to determine? We are to determine the pressure difference between the two pipelines. Take density of seawater at the location to be 1035 kg per meter cube and also take mercury to be 13,600 kg per meter cube and lastly we have been given the hg or the specific gravity for oil to be 7.0.72 so how are we going to go about this question we are supposed to calculate for the pressure difference between the pipeline and the pressure difference between the pipeline is the gauge pressure which is the which can be written when we get our equation. So in solving for this um, question, we have let's write out our parameters and write our equation and we solve along. So in our parameters, we've been given the density of the seawater. So we denote it by rho s which is equal to 1,035 kg per meter cube. We also know our rho hg, which is equal to 13,600 kg per meter cube. We also have our sg for oil, which we can actually calculate for the rho and we know that this for the oil, the density for the oil will be equal to our Sg times the rho of water. And that's going to give us 0 0.72 times 1000, which is equal to 720 kilogram per meter cube. So with all this information, we are now coming to write our equation and in our equation we know that this where P1 will be and also because it's closed there is no atmospheric pressure acting on it so we we'll have a second pressure here P2 so we have to find the pressure difference between the two pipelines in the manometer so we start from here we have our P1, that's from the fresh water, we have P1, then we move down, the fresh water has, or has filled a column of 60 centimeters. It's bad. Because it's moving down, you write it as positive, and we know that pressure increases with depth. So if it increases with depth, it will be a positive um, pressure that we'll have there. So we have rho GH of fresh water, and we'll denote it by F, fresh water by F. Then we have our second quantity, which is our mercury, and our mercury starts from here and moves here then comes here, it occupies 10 centimeters. So the one below, because they will cancel out, we ignore that and we solve, we use this to compute it. So since it's moving up, it becomes a negative pressure. So we write minus rho GH, and we know that there is mercury. Then we move on to the oil. And since the oil is also moving up, it moves up 70 centimeters, it's also 
negative. We have rho g h of oil, which we will use O for our oil. Then we have for the seawater, since it's coming down, and we know that it in pressure increases with that, we would have it to be positive. So plus rho g h and our sea water let's denote it by s and that should be equal to our p2 so you can decide to also start from here and move along using the same scenario so now we having this we are just coming to input our figure so the main thing is getting the equation if you are able to get your equation i think you'll be able to get your final answer right so we don't know our first pressure but we are supposed to find for the pressure difference so we leave the pressure one here and bring the pressure two to the other side of the equation and we move everything here to the other side so everything leaving the pressure one and pressure two at your left hand side so we have the fresh water becoming negative so rho g h f then since this one was negative if it crosses the equal to sign it becomes positive rho g h mercury then same applies to the oil it becomes positive rho g h of oil then since this was negative since this was positive at the left hand side if it comes to the right hand side it becomes negative rho g h of the sea water so now we have this so we are now coming to input our values so we have minus what is the rho or what is the density of fresh water fresh water is the same as water so it will have the density of water which is thousand kilogram per meter cube then times the acceleration due to gravity times the height what's the height it's move 60 so 60 we convert it into a uh, meter and we get 0 0.6 meters so we are done with this we move on to the next parameter which is the pressure for the mercury and the pressure for the mercury we have our rho to be thousand thirteen thousand six hundred times nine point eight one times the ten centimeters here so we convert it we we'll get zero point one get zero point one then we close the brackets then we we have our last parameter, our last but one parameter, let's write it here. So that is plus the rho for oil, which we calculated here, 720. So 720 times 9.81 times the distance it covers, the oil, this is the distance it covers, that's 70. So 70 giving you 0 0.7 in meters. Then we have minus the last parameter, that's the seawater. The seawater, we have our rule to be 1035 times 9.81 times 40 centimeters, which you convert to your meters you get 0 0.4 so the rest is calculator work you compute this information you have here on your calculator and let's do that right away
So we are going to get 8, 3, 3, 8.5 Pascal, which if we convert into kilopascal, we'll get 8.3, 385 kilo pascal so this is how to go about this question for